We are now flying above the Grand Canyon in 35,000 feet. Look at that snow capped mountain. This is a 4K HDR spatial video shot on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. It is 3D, so you should watch it on your Apple Vision Pro using Moon Player or on MetaQuest 3 using YouTube VR app. We finally have the ability to capture 4K 30 frames per second or 1080p 60 frames per second slow motion spatial video natively on an iPhone 15 Pro. If you are wondering how to enable this hidden iPhone feature, check the short tutorial right here. Even though your iPhone 15 is now capable of capturing 4K spatial video, it does not mean it's a good idea to capture 4K all the time. In this video, I will show you how much better the image quality is in 4K and what are the drawbacks and trade-offs for capturing such a high quality. By the way, you won't be able to see HDR or Dolby Vision on YouTube in 3D, unfortunately. So make sure you head over to my Patreon and download this special video, which is absolutely free, and airdrop it onto your Vision Pro to see the quality in HDR. Special D5 and Spatial Camera are the two iOS camera apps you need to capture in 4K. It is not free, so watch this video before you buy so you don't regret your purchase. To see the image quality differences, we again have our talent, Kimchi my Shiba Ninyu here. If you want to thank Kimchi for all his modeling hard work, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up. Let's first do the focal chart test. Here we have 4K 30 frames per second, and here is 1080p 30 frames per second. To make it easier for you, here is the side by side comparison of the right eye. 4K is definitely better. Let's zoom in on the chart. You see 4K is less blurry and has less compression artifacts. Well, there is a trade-off. If you zoom all the way out, you see a black border around the left eye because the lower resolution lens, which is the left eye, cannot reach 4K exactly. The black border has caused some vertical disparity, which means bad 3D around the edges. This is just a minor issue that only affects the edges, which are mostly buried in the AVP immersive mode. But there is a bigger issue. Here, I am pushing into kimchi in 4K. If you compare two motion, you notice the 4K version is very shaky inside Apple Vision Pro. This is probably because if you use the full resolution of the sensor, fewer pixels can be used to stabilize the video. I don't want to make people motion sick, and you will feel a little bit motion sick if you watch this video inside Apple Vision Pro. So I wouldn't suggest using the 4K mode if you are holding the iPhone handheld without a gimbal or tripod. This is probably why Apple did not enable 4K natively. The 60 frames per second slow motion mode is pretty cool as you see right here. I can slow kimchi down. It still has the same problem though, black border on the left eye and unstable footage. In my opinion, it's not worth trading image quality for stability. So unless your iPhone is on a tripod or gimbal system, I would not suggest using 4K mode or 60 frames per second mode. If you need 60 frames per second slow motion, you can always get the Kendall CoolCam Eagle. If you want 4K, you can upgrade your camera to the 8K sensor like the Canon R5C with one of those upcoming 3D lens from Canon. NAB 2024 is right around the corner. We should hear more about the upcoming iPhone 16 and Canon new spatial video lens. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Kimchi and I will see you next time.